Hi everyone, so today we're going to be tackling one of Codewell's challenges and right off the bat, just a big disclaimer, I'm a designer who's still learning how to code so not everything you're about to see is the best way to do something. Um, that's I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave that one up to the professionals who, who are going to probably be watching this video just roasting me for my code, for my spaghetti code and just leave that up to them. Uh, and, but, but it's going to be fun. I'm going to have some lo-fi music playing in the background. Um, it's currently 5 a.m. So very chill time to code some stuff up. We're going to be working on this pens challenge and we're going to split it up into a couple of videos. For this one, we're going to be doing the nav bar. We're going to make it responsive. And then in the next couple of videos, we're just going to work on making this um, like an actual website, very responsive, all that kind of jazz. So first things first, I already have the images loaded up in VS Code. And I'll start off just by making the files that we're going to be uh, using or creating our stuff in. We'll be putting in the boilerplate for the HTML file. And if you're using VS Code, just type in the exclamation mark and type enter, click enter, whatever. And it's going to generate the boilerplate for you. Um, we're going to be calling that spans. We're also going to be creating a new folder. We're going to be using SAS for this one. so. I just find it a lot easier and we're also going to be starting the uh, the plugin so that it gen uh, generates a CSS file and we're going to be linking the CSS file which is going to be here cool so next thing that I want to do is we're using the cabin font if I'm not mistaken yep so we're just going to go to Google Fonts and we're going to be using the CDN that they provide us. So we're going to be using regular, medium, semi-bold, and bold. Cool. I think that's all. All right. Let's paste it in the head tag, format the code, and I think that is it for the HTML file. Now I just want to make sure that this is working properly. So body background color is red. Turn on live server so that we can see the changes in real time and yep, working perfectly. So before we start doing anything, we just want to do a couple of resets that I like using. So uh, we'll do margin zero, adding zero box size inherit and then we're going to be doing body font family cabin sans serif the font size is going to be 16 pixels and we're also going to be using ends and rems in this project and then the line height probably around 1.4 and then for the a a visit it and a hover we're going to be doing text decoration um, not so I think that's all we need before we get started now let's look at the design here in the figma file we have a tooltip before the hero section so let's, let's make that real quick have a tooltip and then we're just gonna have this text also want to toggle word graph I like using it and then the tooltip is going to have a background color of black, a color of white, and a font weight of 600, if I am not mistaken. We also have a padding of 14 on top and bottom. It's 14 pixels. So that's 0 0.87 rem. And at zero. Also going to be text aligning this to the center. And we're good. Um, this is also underlined. He will be receiving. Okay, that's fine. We'll just uh, put this in a span. And then I think it was text decoration. Underline, yeah. Cool. So that's working fine. 
um, it's not entirely responsive. So what I do want to do is we have a container that we're going to be adding so that the content is within that container. See, everything is aligned to that um, 1140 pixels container. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to create a container class here that's going to have a max width of 40 pixels, a width of, say, 85%, and a margin of zero auto to center everything. And if we add that inside the tooltip, I think that should fix the responsiveness issue. And just, just so you know, the responsive issue is that there's no padding on the left or right. And so having that container is probably going to fix that. Yeah, there we go. Now it's much better. So that's done. Cool, yo. That was easy. If everything was that easy, that would have been nice. Now let's tackle the nav bar. That's going to be the most interesting part. Um, the nav bar is inside the hero section. So let's create a hero section. And then everything inside the hero section is going to be within a container. And then we can start working on the nav bar. So let's create a nav class. We're also going to name it um, nav bar. And then we have an href tag with um, so this is going to be spans. We're also going to give it a class of navbar underscore logo. And then we're going to have the mobile menu, which we're not going to style right now. Just put in the HTML and then we're going to style everything. So that's going to be made up of um, three spans. Right. I think there's a shortcut so that I can format this quicker. I'm not entirely sure what it is. Probably gonna have to Google that one. But I also named this navbar underscore menu. And then we have the middle links. That's gonna be made up of actually that's gonna be that's gonna be a div. So I'm gonna call that navbar underscore links with I think it was three. Yep, yeah, three. Just remove this again. It's probably a better way of doing this where I delete all instances of what I have selected. Probably gonna have to Google that one as well. So, this one is gonna be business pricing and features. I'm gonna also copy paste this one more time. And correct me if there's a better way of doing this. I think the naming here is sort of clashing together. But the reason I'm doing this is because I'm going to be using display flex on the nav bar. And so I want it to be spaced out. And so that's why there's like two different divs with the same class. I don't know if this is like ideal or not. Probably not. So if you have a better solution or not a better solution, the, the way I should be doing this, please let me know in the comments. Um, so we have login, then get started. There we go. Now, let's start styling this. So that bar is going to be display flex align item center. I love these three lines. I just like love typing it out. So that that's working fine. <clears throat> and then and then let's go into the menu. We'll be targeting these pans inside the menu. We're gonna be display block with the um, width of say 18 pixels and a height of two pixels, and then um, background color of black. Those are going to be this is going to be the hamburger menu so so that's working fine you just need to add space i'm going to do so what this is doing is we're targeting every single span except for the last one we're going to give it a margin bottom of say two pixels maybe three yeah three looks fine Anything we could just look at the ones that we have here. 
it's 24 pixels and then Okay, so that's weird. That's probably because it's an icon, not custom made. Cool. So we're just going to work with the one that we currently have. And that's working fine as well. Also want to just give the hero section the background color that it currently has in the Figma file. So that's probably going to be this one. Cool. Also going to be adding padding. Um, it's going to have 40 pixels on the top of the bottom. So padding is going to be 2.5 rems uh, top at the bottom and then right and left are just zero. Okay, that's looking much better. And then next thing that we want to do is we want to tackle responsiveness and how we're going to do that is add media, always screen, and max width uh, 60 ohms, let's say, on display. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add this inside a class called hide for mobile. And then we'll do the same thing for desktop. I'll just copy paste this. Do a minimum width of 60 ohms. And then what we're going to do is we don't want this to show on desktop. So we're just going to hide it for desktop. And then for this one, hide for mobile. Likewise for the call to actions. So that should work. There we go. Now we have a responsive. Now all this left to do is to style the well everything. So first thing that we're gonna tackle is the logo. So that's gonna be a font weight of seven hundred. And then color is going to be black. Sweet. Um, font size is going to be 20. So 16 is 1.25 rem. All right. And then the links are going to be here. We want them to be, wait, what's the spacing between each of them? 24 pixels. So I'm do again, not last child. I'm going to do a margin right of 24 pixels. Okay, that's working fine. I don't know why I did that. And then we want to give it a color of black. Sweet. Now all this left to do is to style the call to action button, which is right here. Let's just look at the paddings. It's 18 by 24. So in the links, let's give it a class of CPA. And since this is universal, I'm going to add it outside of the hero. So, because we're going to be using it everywhere in the website or just one other place, which is here and potentially here if we decide to use this as a custom component instead of just making it an image. We're going to see about that one. All right. So, CTA padding is going to be 18. What am I doing? 1.125 rems by 1.5 rem and then we're going to add background color of black color of white border radius of 5 pixels and this is not taking the white because of oh, the navbar links so what we can do is we can take this and then put it outside in the globals. That should, I think, fix it. Yeah, there we go. 
and then we just want to add a font weight of 700 gcta and there we go that's the nav bar that was that went pretty smooth i'm not gonna lie i thought I was, i'm gonna get stuck in some web areas particularly the responsive bit but everything worked out nice so that's that's a good sign hopefully it stays that way um but yeah i think everything should be responsive at the moment yeah there we go i love it now if you guys want me to make this actually clickable with an overlay let me know i had planned to just keep it responsive not add any functionality but if you guys want me if, if you guys want to see me tackle that part i'd be more than happy to uh, but it's just going to result in more parts which is not something that i'd like to do but again if you guys want me to do it be more happy to be more than happy to um so yeah that's it for this part next video we're going to be tackling the rest of the content particularly with this hero section and then probably finish it off in one video this isn't too complicated um so yeah i'll see you guys next time and if you've enjoyed this please let me know uh if you have any other feedback and see you next time